philosophies with their vids. So I'm gonna go down and break down the philosophies of what Young Camel Toe, aka Dear Vitz, believes in. Uh, first off, I gotta like and subscribe if you're watching this video. Of course, I'm supposed to say that. If you click on the link below, you'll, you'll find my new YouTube channel where I'm putting all my new music at. I'm mean, getting a lot of copyright issues with this YouTube channel, so I'm putting the music with the copyrighted videos on that YouTube channel. If YouTube's watching this, I'm not stopping the copyright. Alright, now today we're gonna get into trust issues. Um, I got trust issues. Uh, I mean, I would say I got trust issues with just the human species in general, like uh, just humans believe all types of stuff, you feel me? Like we're very gullible people. We haven't evolved much since, you know, around Jesus' time, if Jesus even existed. I mean, uh, like when I think of, you know, the people way, way back in the day that used to believe in crazy things, like the sun is God or in Horus or, you know, all these other gods, it's like they believed in it because the king told them like, yeah, this is true. All the rest of the people around him say, yeah, this is true. So whatever community you was born into, that's kind of like what you believed in. So like, goes for the Egyptians believing in Horus and the Vikings believing in whoever the fuck they believed in. Uh, Zoroastrians and Persia. I mean, if you look at the histories of religions, back in the day, just wherever you was born, that's what you believed in. So... I just, I think people was just too gullible. Uh, the brain size of humans back in those days, uh, they just, it wasn't that big. So, I mean, like, why, why would I believe what people back in the past believed in? Because they used to believe that the world was flat. They used to believe slavery was cool. They used to believe in concubines for the king. Like, honestly, like, should kings be able to have concubines? And if kings should be able to have concubines, then why shouldn't I be able to have concubines? I mean, you're just saying, oh, because it was a different time frame. That's how it was. Man, fuck how it was, man. All this belief is nothing but a human construct. I kind of believe that God's created, or humans created God just to have something to believe in and fight for. So, yeah, when it comes to religions and just humans in general, just like the crazy beliefs that we have, if I can't prove it or if I haven't seen it be, been proven, I can't believe in it. Same. Got a lot of dating problems, man. Um, I, my, my dating life has been very off and on. Uh, for the most part, I date females for about two months, and then I, I don't really put in much effort. They normally just leave or just start ghosting me, whatever. I like to find new ones. I like to keep it, you know, fresh. I like to keep it clean. Every once in a while, though, there'll be, like, females who, like, even though I'm not doing shit in the relationship, they'll still stay for like a year or two. And it's interesting. And I have to say more power to those females out there who stay with me more than two months. That must be hell, because I don't do shit. Uh, I got weird beliefs, man. Like, I, like uh, I don't believe in marriage. I believe it's the worst contract, especially for the male. I mean, you mean I'm going to marry you and then basically sign away half my shit? I mean... Divorce rates in America are sixty percent right now, so that's it's just it's a you're basically betting against yourself. You're basically saying, I bet half of my shit that I will not hate her in like five years. You probably will. Come on, bro. I've only I mean, the longest relationship I ever had was a year and a half, honestly. Like by the end of that one year and a half, bro, I was over it. I was like, I have to talk to you about everything. We've traveled a bit. I met your family. You met my family. We fucked a couple times. It just gets old, honestly. Um, kids, I think I'm gonna have kids when I'm 50, when I'm like done with my life, when I when I've given up on trying to do something crazy by myself. I think I'll have kids. Um, people who have kids when they're 20 and younger, man, that's crazy, dude. You basically just sign away your life because your life is now, like, second when you have kids. So, no kids over here. <clears throat> um, what else was I about to talk about? Uh, I don't know. I, I basically got this weird belief, though, that, like, you know, like, since my life is just so minuscule, it doesn't really matter what I do, if I became homeless tomorrow, if I went out of space, if I went to Somalia and started a war, 
launched a rocket at North Korea. Like, it wouldn't really matter. It really wouldn't. And I mean, I think we're just living in a time of a bunch of trolls who don't give a fuck. So, I'm going to play my role and join the movement, man. I'm about to be nothing but a trolling, hedonistic, weird nigga. I'm making weird tracks on YouTube, talking about dumb jokes on stage, doing dumb YouTube videos when I'm talking about nothing in a, in a monotone voice. I need to really work on this YouTube shit. I'm not editing nothing. I hate editing, dude. Final Cut Pro, worse. Editor ever, bro. Can't do the buffer. But yeah, I got trust issues, man. I, I think just when it comes to like females, I think back in like middle school and high school, man, like I just, not just to meet with me, but like the homies, like females would be with you for like, you know, just as long as they don't find something better. And like, I don't know, I just kind of got wrapped up into it, started playing the same game. And you know, in high school, I always had like two or three females on me. I played basketball and football, so. Having a serious relationship is just too much of a risk, you feel me? It's like, first of all, like, I'm going to probably cheat on you on the next away game anyway. It's come about to pick up a chick, whoop diddy whoop whoop with my homies. But, uh, and I knew that, like, after high school, like, bro, I'm about to go to college. I don't know where you about to go. So it just seemed pointless. But I got in that same mind frame, and I still carry that today, man. Like, I haven't really had, I had, like, two serious relationships to last, like, longer than a year but other than that it's been free riding i'm seeing somebody right now she's seeing this video i'm just talking just talking shit holla at me uh fuck i gotta work on this youtube shit but until then this is part two of philosophies with their vids i'm gonna work on it by the time we get to philosophies of their vids part six or seven man i'm gonna be cool at this i'm about to be better I'm wearing a gray shirt right now because I'm kind of feeling gray inside. No lie. About to eat some ice cream, about to sip some wine. Probably shouldn't be playing 2K, but you know I'm about to do that again today. Um, what am I going to do for the rest of the year? Nothing. I just booked a flight to Thailand in all of April, so that should be lit. I'm about to go with one of my homies and maybe my cousin might join us along, but I'm just trying to travel and live like a king, maybe get some concubines. No trannies though, I need some bad females, for real, for real. Like some Asians, who I could pay for like 10 bucks to suck like a dick. I'm down. I know it's probably horrible, I've never had a prostitute. I've always been against giving females money for sex, but the older and older I get, man, like, you, you always gotta pay, bro. Like, even for the cheapest day, just going to the bar and having two beers, bro. Boom, that's like $12, bro. Why don't you just pay prostitute 10 in Thailand with like some extra wrapped condoms and not get fucked over. They probably better too, I'm saying.